Hello everyone, this is Zeno and Zimmer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time. Dixon! Why? Why? Old man! Are you completely out of your mind? Ah, don't you kids ever shut up. I'm just doing my job. As always. Right? Who are you? It... It's you. Yes. Now you remember. It's been a long time. Hasn't it, Eggle? Too long. Huh? Zanza's... Disciple. Zanza's Disciple? Eggle, what do you mean? Dixon, what are you? I don't have to explain anything. As they say, seeing is believing. Now, witness it with your own eyes. The moment of Lord Zanza's return. Shulk! Get away from him! No! Ah! Zanza! I won't let you do this! Do not be surprised. Everything in this world is dictated by the passage of fate. As all that exists is interconnected, time can flow only towards the inevitable. That is the vision of which I, the Monado, am the origin. That which will be, will be. This was all predestined. Ever since I came to reside within Shulk. What do you mean? Zanza grew tired from our battle. And then the High Entia ancestors trapped him. His flesh was sealed away on Prison Island. His soul, and hence the Monado, was confined to Ossi Tower. In those ruins? But what does this have to do with Shulk? Did you forget? Who discovered those ruins? Who happened to be there? Who was the survivor we found? And who brought back that survivor? What are you saying? You planned all this when you found Shulk! Jackpot! It was all for this day. In fact, there was never anyone called Shulk to begin with. What?! My soul existed inside the Monado. It was fated that I be released. It was shown to me in a vision. At last the time finally came, and then... The people who found the Monado and freed it awoke Sansa. He sucked the lies from them so he could live. Shulk was among them. Shulk was already dead! That's impossible! We grew up together! You grew up with an empty shell. He appeared to live because I became his life force. That is until he had matured as my new vessel and become worthy of wielding the Monado, allowing me to truly awaken and finally return. Lord Zanza is the soul of the Bionis, but he still needs a living body. Just like Mayneth over there. <laughs> Call that corpse a friend. Don't make me laugh. But why use Shulk? What was it that made you select Shulk as your vessel? There was no particular reason. Shulk merely happened to be there at the time. There you have it. Anybody would have done. As long as they could swing a sword around, at least. So then, Shulk's ability to use the Monado... And those visions that he used to save us. 
All because of Lord Zanza. Lord Zanza can see the passage of fate. He simply led you to the inevitable. The destruction of Colony 9. The death of that pompous old high entier fool. And that grunt Gaddo's miserable demise. All of it. You evil... Yeah! Ah! There's more. We haven't even got to the best part. What are you gonna do, Dixon? Don't you get it? You're just in the way. The lot of you. This world was created by Lord Zanza. By the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. First, we must eliminate my greatest obstacle. You, Maynith, the Maconis! Bionis moves! Uh. I've been waiting. Waiting for this day. Sansa! shall cease to exist by the wrath of my blade it's the monado i'll show you the meaning of wrath Put their differences aside. Meaningless sentiment. Zanza! Right, now! Yeah! How could you do this? It is from me that all life is born. It lives only for me. And it shall be returned. unleashed your monado and there was me thinking you would die with dignity I finally understand the futures of our children belong to them alone though we are their creators their lives are theirs to control even if the passage of fate is as you have decided will teach you the strength of their will to resist. Zanza, if you choose to deny the existence of every living being but yourself, then I choose to fight. To fight for them! That's right! 
right. We won't let you erase everyone's futures. And now, this fight. This battle is mine, Maynard. Fight with Maynard's Marauders. I can do it. I know I can. Can't do much about it. <laughs> you are a pathetic excuse for a god. <laughs> but he's immune, so we have to just. <laughs> You call yourself a god, and you talk of sharing this world with me. So that's why the dead boy is important to you. The homes are nothing but bacteria clinging to my body. They are living beings. If you cannot understand this, you have no right to call yourself a god. And who decides that? A god? Because only a god may decide. This world only needs one god made of you. May you rot in that shell for all eternity! Fiora! Face me like a god! If not, then say goodbye to your putrid friends! Zanza! Such a fool. This is... What I wish. This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. Is the passage of fate. Zenza, disappear! He's gone. And things ain't looking good for us. <sighs> Let it begin. The ceremony of destruction and recreation!
final wish. Trusted to me. By Lady Mayneth. Oh, brother. Melia? I understand your feelings. Leave it to us. We know what we must do. We will do all we can for the people of Maconis. Uh. Now go. Shulk can still be saved. Do not let the last glimmer of hope be extinguished. Negil. Go in peace. Let's go. We're leaving the Maconis. Ryan, take care of Shulk. Got it. Ah. Uh, you okay? Yes. Good. It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the central factory. Let's go! Thundern? What about Egil? He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone! Goodbye, my brother. And with this, we leave the Mekonis. I'm gonna switch. Brickian. Skull trees. Ooh, nice. I can start working on everyone else, but we need this party specifically if we want the next fight to go even remotely smoothly. Can't skip travel. We just gotta run. Run! 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 Also, you can technically change the cosmetics of your twin blades to Mania Smenado. Not going to do that yet. I do have plans to eventually because I really like how they look personally. But get to that later. Set junks. We're almost on free. Need to make it. Open door. Run in. This <laughs> is all over. Yep. I don't even know what. Where? Oh, well, nothing there. I want to thank you. For my son. We have to escape here first. Shall we go back to the village? Go back to the village. Stubborn mortals, so desperate to cling to your pathetic lives, even when there is no hope for you.
both our worlds. You must succeed. Lady Maynard. Huh. <gasps> the Maconis. Thank you. <sighs> Look, Starboard. What's that cloud? Not getting away! Dixon! Listen, it's over. Time for you all to return to the Bionis. Nice and quietly. That's enough! Why, Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you! Dixon! Don't let Zanza control you! Wake up! You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this, ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Egil said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple. Dixon of the Trinity! We must fight with all I got. Seems too much. At least in terms of damage. We can't seem to topple it. Killer Sky. Ricky. Healing me is not going to be effective. Sorry makes it impossible for us. Okay, at least. Try this. Effectively, at disadvantage. No visions, can't defend. It's over. <laughs> you waste of space! Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast! You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? 
Who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you all right? Brother! Kalyan! Dixon! He works for the Bionis! He shot Shulk in the back! Is this true? Dixon? This ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havrez squadron. You cannot win! Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right, Lorathea? Lorathea? Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness, your naivety is quite charming, but it is also your undoing. <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. What? What is this light? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't. Lorothea! Awaken, my darling pet! Understand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself. It's just like she says. The High and Tear are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. <laughs> It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. Brother? Whatever. We won't be needing a half-breed like you anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a Telethia, it just means you're gonna get crushed by one. That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pets. Do my bidding. Kill your lovely sister. of our people. The burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye. These moments are to be treasured. <laughs>
Where am I? Oh. So I'm... <laughs> what was I doing? What was the purpose of my life? No. I've got it wrong. I was never alive. It was Zanza. All along. I... Everything I did was... Do you want to say... pointless? <laughs> that voice... Nobody else can decide that. Only you. you a wonderful new weapon since you lost your monado i mean it uses the latest machina technology use it when you wake up then let's all go on living We've relocated the Hyentia and the Nopon refugees to Colony 6. Thankfully, the Mekon did us a favor by fortifying it for us. It should hold out for a while. It's ironic. We want to escape Zanza, but we can't leave his body, the Bionis. Well, this is our home. Princess, I have to know. Should we be worried about the evacuated Hyentia? I cannot be sure, but I believe not. All those who survived are part homes like me. Understood. If they ever do transform, I will be among them. If that time comes, you know what to do. Are you sure? Everyone is obliged to accept their fate. No way! There's no way Callion would leave the fate of the Hyentia to you if that was gonna happen. Precisely. And Milia, if we are to survive, we must fight Zanza and the Telethia. It may not be the case with all of them, but a large number of Telethia were once high end here. Your subjects and your brethren. I am prepared for that. Even if it means harming my brethren, it is for the protection of the survivors. That is the final wish of my father and brother. I will fight to free the souls stolen by Zanza. You're a fighter, Melia. We will need all your strength in the fight ahead. How shulk. He's going to make it. His wound has closed. I think Maynith used the last of her power to protect him. So he's okay. Linada is tending to him now. Fiora? He won't wake up. It's like his consciousness has sunk to the bottom of a cold, dark lake. I keep saying his name, but he doesn't respond. Sounds as good a Heat keeps circling. For this, what if the Telethia attack? 
Then we'll have to fight without Shulk. That's why we've strengthened our defenses. That weapon I made should come in handy as well. We're backed into a corner, but we'll give it all we've got. Can your resistance truly achieve anything? What do you mean by that, Alvis? Exactly what I said. We were all born of the Bionis, of Zanza. It is Zanza's will that the Telethia return us to the body from whence we came. Whether we die of old age or in battle, we all eventually return to the Bionis. We cannot escape this fate. Am I wrong? You've got it backwards, man. Just because he thinks it doesn't make it so. We decide whether to keep living or not. I agree. Even though he's our creator, that doesn't afford him the right to take our lives on a whim. But that is the thinking of a Homs. He is a god. Such morals cannot apply to gods. So you think we should just shut up and die? If that is the fate decided by a god. You are mistaken if you think we will simply accept such a fate and wait to die. We'll never stop fighting, not till the end. To Zanza, the outcome is the same. Thus, your logic is flawed. It ain't the outcome that's important. It's the will to fight back. Even if you die in vain. Alvis! Whose side are you on? You scared or something? Frightened of a few Telethia? Stop this. There's no point fighting amongst ourselves. <sighs> Viola. <sighs> Sorry. I need to go and get some air. Hmm. And we switch to Melia. Before we follow and go buy stuff, not a tear. I believe we talk to you. How are you? At midnight. So Midnight, she shuts off. And if we talk to him, we'll get a lot of affinity. We just have to keep talking. I really like that scene. Didn't want to say anything to it, by the way, because. Yes? Yeah, no. Double blade, cross impact. We'll have to switch. We'll... Hello. Mag Storm for something else. Checking this gear when we got everyone. Solid dollar. It's much nicer when <laughs> everything, when almost everything is made. Sex looks like when it's maxed out. I won't be able to show much else, but hey, that's not the point. Oh, this will be good. Something 
it's just get rainy for the next scenes ahead. This is perfect. Fiora, are you all right? Guess I wasn't hiding it well. I didn't want to worry anyone. It must be difficult living with that body. I'm getting more and more used to it. But people still look at me funny. Oh, it's not that bad. It feels pretty comfortable, actually. I don't need to worry about food or anything like that. I see. This body... The energy from the chess component made it work. It turned out to be a monado. <laughs> Such a strange feeling. A monado? Was that the monado that Zanza took from Maynith? Will your body cease to function? I'll be fine for now. There's still some stored energy left. But then what? If I ever... Please take care of Shulk. Don't talk like that! How can you ask me such a thing? I... I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. You're right. Thank you, Melia. If Shulk awakes, will you tell him? No. He worries too much anyway. <laughs> he does worry. It's just like him. Actually, I'm already dead. I have been since the Mechon attacked. Fiora. But I'm happy now. This body has given me the chance to live. Maybe I don't have much time left. But at least I can be with Shulk for a little while longer. Do you feel that strongly for him? Yes. That's why I'll fight on and help him in any way I can. Let's get back. Everyone will start worrying. Yes. You are right. And Melia. Can you keep it secret from the others? You do not want them to worry. I admire your strength. Maybe I'll tell him, but only when the time is right. I won't say a word. Such a nice scene. I'm nothing compared to her. A siren! Fiora, let's hurry back. Okay. Let's run back. shows how much I'm not used to. <laughs> oh, I'm so much more used to having gotten much more of Colony 6 cleared. Siren? Is that? Telethia! A horde of them are approaching! Let's move! Gotcha! I'm going too! But Shulk needs you! I know! 
But I can't just stay here. What if something happened to you? What would I tell Shulk when he wakes up? Fiora, are you sure? Like that high end tier's big bro died for nothing. <gasps> oh, don't be like that. You'll meet him soon enough. You might even be reborn if you return to Lord Zanza. Who knows? He might be your boyfriend next life. You will not mock the memory of my brother. You lot don't know when you're beaten. Why don't you just give up? And now we get into a fight. It's my decision. In oh, yeah. order to perpetuate their existence, Zanza and Mayneth must use a being they created as a physical host. They cannot exist forever as mere souls. This world was created so that they may continue to exist. It is for this reason that its existence and future is in their hands. This is the passage of fate and your visions. People live and die at the mercy of Zanza. And through this, Zanza maintains the existence of this world. Our destruction was always inevitable. Everything we did was meaningless. Are you certain? It was his will to revive you and use you as a host. Taking the Monado from Mayneth, doing with the world as he wishes. Everything was as he decided. But why is it that Zanza now wishes to destroy you? What is the need for this? That's because... He in fact has no choice but to do it. If he does not, he risks his entire existence. And we're the source of that risk. But why? It is a marvel to exist outside the passage of fate. The lives created by Zanza and Mayneth inevitably attempt to escape the passage of fate. This signifies the beginning of their destruction. Mayneth accepted this and entrusted the future of this world to you. Many times, your visions have allowed you to change the passage of fate. You saved the lives of those destined to die. I couldn't save everyone. Nothing that exists is perfect. It is a sad truth, but you can learn from it and begin the journey on a new path. Not Zanza's path, but one that you forge yourselves. Our own path. So, decide, Shulk. Will you walk the path laid out by Zanza? Or will you walk a new path? The Monado awaits you. That was always how it was going to be. If I'd wanted to walk the predetermined path, I wouldn't have come this far. Even with the odds stacked against us, even though I can't see the future, I'll keep walking. My own path, that I decide. Fiora, Rhein, Dunvan, Sharla, Melia, Ricky. We all feel the same. Well then, you must defy fate to succeed. Succeed and follow a new path. 
Alvis. Are you? You already know. You know what I am. And what you must do. Intriguing choice of words. What I am. Not who, but what. These things don't give up. Ricky never lose. Ricky protect Colony 6. Right. We can't let them get any further. You know the drill. Take them down. Oh, yeah. Let's roll. Main menu. Party. Ricky. Arts. Switch. Mag Storm. For. Ooh. Probably healing energy. Energy. Quickly upgrading everything. Ricky. Probably have to reset your your arts because we need more arts than will end up eating us, not hindering us. Headshot. Ryan, I don't think you can do anything, sadly. Yeah, nope. Let's go! Let's focus on the weak ones. Oh, you've got to be joking. If only Shulk was here! We're dead meat without the Monado! Get away from him! Forget about the Monado, kid. More space between Zanza and us, the better. If Ryan's got time to sound off, we must be doing okay. We are doing okay! Ryan is correct! Perhaps we relied too much on the Monado and Shulk. Right. We've chosen to fight the Bionis. We have to manage on our own. <laughs> Look at them struggle. 
If they can't even handle a few Telephia, how do they expect to defeat me? This is not the end! bothering to try and cover it up. Go on, just admit you've had enough. Never! Look out! Lots of dino beasts! It truly seems as though everything is going as Sansa planned. But our hearts and minds, they still hold the will to seize our own destiny. No matter how hard you try to break us, the future is ours to shape, Dixon! Always! When will you learn you have no future? Face it! Your destiny is to die here! gone and done now. Time for me to get my hands dirty. Shulk, look out! Huh? <sighs> Oi, kid. It's about time for your final lesson. Dixon! Show me what you've got. You think you've got the power to oppose Lord Zadza? Let's see how you do against me. Have to do this. Makes the most sense. Really? Fine. Oh, come on. Uh, Snap out of it. Dumbass! Get back here! I'm trying to. Really? 
I hate killer dive. It's not fun. I know. Okay. My turn. Four drones. One, two, three. Yeah. Your turn. Leave it to me. Soaring separate. Yeah. That brat. How could he read my movements? What the hell's going on? Shulk. How'd you do it? I could see it. The future. I don't have the Monado, but it came to me, Ryan. From within. Nice one! Looks like we're back in business. <laughs> Bunch of ingrates. Oi! Stop hiding and get yourself out here. I don't appreciate being left to do all the hard work. Alvis! What? It can't be. Alvis! Not you too! Yeah. Another one of Lord Zanza's faithful. One of the Trinity. No! How can he be one of them? Alvis! Is this the only reason you served under my family? You traitor! Oi! Say something! Shulk! Leave it. It doesn't matter what he is. That doesn't change anything at all. Does it? Alvis? Yes, precisely. You must find your own path to the future. But Alethia, he's... So you're just another one of Sansa's lapdogs. Get ready, everyone. Show them no mercy. As you wish, let us see that will to survive. Fight the Sani to Levia. Not so tough without your pet, are you? <laughs> I'll show you the will to survive! <laughs> Meddling kids. 
I have seen your will to fight. It is time to decide. What do you say? Does this world belong to you or to Zanza? Well, <laughs> either way is good with me. But I wonder what Zanza would say about it. He desires the same, and he sees everything, as you see, Shulk. It's like he says. Get back here! You understand. Don't you, Shulk? Yeah. You can bet on it. We'll be waiting. We'll be on our best behavior. And we will be the best guests you ever had. Ah, that's quite a good comeback. I'm impressed. I'm trembling. Me. Stupid meddling kid. <laughs> After all these years, I never thought the day would come when I would feel fear. Dunban, have you seen Fiora? I have. She said she was going out to get some air. I don't think she went far. Thanks. I'll take a look. <sighs> Fiora, here you are. Oh, Shulk. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's so peaceful. It's hard to believe that we defeated a horde of Telethia just minutes ago. Sansa wants to finish us all. So we can make the vision he's had come true. We're in the calm before the storm. They'll be back, won't they? The Telethia. To remove us all from this world. I won't let that happen. Whatever the future holds, we can never give in. Not to Zanza. No, not even to our destiny. I wonder why Alvis said what he did. Which part? Does this world belong to us or to Zanza? Why would he side with Zanza? Power? Or maybe he wants to live forever? Who knows? But I don't think his motives are that simple. I'm sure Alvis has some kind of plan. Otherwise, why would he speak to me in my dreams? He spoke to you in your dreams? That's another reason why I have to find Zanza. I have to find out why. You and me both. I must fulfill Maynath's wish. Shulk? You wanted to speak to me about something. Oh, that's right. Lenarda's looking for you. She wants to examine you. She's back at Junks. Oh. Hey, um, can you go ahead? I'll go and see Lenarda in a minute. I need a few minutes to myself. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Oh, thank you. What can I do? If I go to see Leonardo, she'll find out what's happening to my body. I need to come up with a good excuse. Oh, please, let me be with Shulk just a little bit longer. Zanza is inside the Bionis. I just know it. Dixon must be there as well. Yes, and Alvis too. 
That's all good, but how do we get to them? If they're inside the Bionis, we're gonna need to dig a pretty big hole. How long it take? Ricky get old soon. It just so happens I have the answer. On the Bionis chest is a massive hole that leads inside. It's the wound made by Agul's final attack. Then that means... Yes. While the Allied force keeps the Telethia busy, you can sneak inside that wound and take out Zanza. We will take junks. Let my father know when you are ready to depart. Yeah! Time to knock some heads! Ricky never lose! For Ricky family, Ricky win! We must show this god our unyielding will to survive. The suffering of my people will not be in vain. The crimes against our friends will not go unpunished. Shulk! Ready. We go to the Bionis chest. We will free our world from Zanza's curse. And... Yeah, thankfully, we don't go right away. So, just to close up here, don't worry. We won't be losing Fiora again. We will have to talk to Nicole about this yes. though. Uh, Clarice still a rifle. Eh, uh, Karma Blades. Alright, you've got that equipped. I'm going to quickly show you guys the gear. Speed. Red gloves. Cell. Apologies. Granted, while I'm do, I might as well just tell you about. Yeah, no. <laughs> Instead of trying to do all this before the next episode, might as well just save this right now. Next time, going into the Baroness. Well, actually, no, we'll be doing one more thing before we go into the Baroness, but we'll be gearing up in between. So, see you guys then. Zinu and Zuma, signing out.